he earns ten thousand dollars per day. Hey guys, this is Keso and you're watching Keso Designs, the channel which brings you all the automotive information, DIY mods, car reviews, bike reviews, product reviews and also some quick tips and hacks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. So guys, today's day is gonna be really really awesome because today we are gonna meet someone. Sounds interesting? No right? I knew it. But what if I tell you that today we are gonna meet a self-made millionaire? Now that's some interesting stuff, right? Yes. So I'll tell you who he is and all of his story. But after I get ready. So it's time to get ready for today's day. See ya. Boom. I'm ready. So by the time my family members are getting ready, let me just go ahead and tell you his story. So the person we are meeting today is Mr. Sham Chandrakant Saran. And he is a self-made millionaire. And the best thing about him is he earns $10,000 per day. You heard me right guys. He earns $10,000 per day. You don't believe me right? If you don't believe me you can do one thing. You can just go ahead and google him yourself. And you will find out. Or else you can just have a look over here. You see this. This is the current profile of Mr. Sham Chandrakan Saran. Currently, he is a director of two companies. So, if you are done verifying him, let's go ahead and let me tell you his story. To begin with, Mr. Sham Chandrakan Saran belonged to a very, very poor family and lived in a very small house just as you can see in the rural areas of India. He completed his school years and began with his college. When he was in college, he thought that it was high time that he started earning. So, he actually wanted to support his family and make the financial status well. So, he started coming up with a business plan. Since he was from a coastal area, he wanted to do something related to fishing. So, what he did was, it came to his notice that there were lobsters which were sold very cheap in Goa. So, what he used to do is, he used to ride his bicycle from Malvin to Goa and that is three hours of driving in a car. So you can imagine what kind of hard work that guy did. He used to ride his bicycle from Malvin to Goa, bring three bags full of lobsters back from Goa to Malvin and used to sell it in Malvin. So there was a decent profit that he got from it and that's how he started earning. Whenever he was on a vacation or he was on a holiday, he used to go to his uncle's place, borrow his boat who was and his uncle was a fisherman. So he used to borrow his boat and go fishing. He used to be in the middle of the ocean at 4 a.m. Can you guys imagine that? Such a hard working guy. So he used to be 4 a.m. in the middle of the ocean fishing. Later what he used to do is bring all the chunks of fish and then sell it to the local fish, uh, local fishermen, local fish sellers and also supply them to the hotels. So that's how he started earning. Later, after he graduated his college, he got a job as a receptionist in Mumbai. So that was a decent job, paid okay. So uh, he began with his job and later he realized that this job wasn't what he wanted. and that wasn't his dream. His dream was to be big. So what he did was, he collected the salary and rose capital. He used this money as a capital. He came back to Malvin and he said that, why don't I start fishing? First, he used to borrow his uncle's boat. So it wasn't good to, you know, borrow his uncle's boat because he was a fisherman too. So he started fishing, but you know how, he didn't have enough money to buy a boat. So what he did was, he built a boat of his own. Yes guys, he built a fiber boat. So what happened was, that boat came in notice of various fishermen. 
so it was cheap as well as the quality was really really awesome so the local fishermen started giving order to mr sham saran and that's how he began another business and that was manufacturing fiber boats for local fishermen and now there's two business of it so first was fishing and selling the fishes and other was manufacturing fiber boats he made a big company just out of manufacturing the boats so now he had two sources of income the first source was fishing he used to fish and then he used to sell the fish to the local salesmen to the local fish sellers he used to supply his fish to the hotels and he also used to export his fishes out of india and that really made him very rich secondly he used to manufacture fiber boats and believe me guys he established a company and within one year that company was really really successful i mean he got orders from out of india guys can you imagine that in the first year he got orders from singapore from uh, thailand from china damn so he was on his way to fulfilling his dreams he was already a millionaire so he didn't stop over there what he did was he actually thought that why not explore the field of fishing and today guys he is director of two companies as you saw in the uh, in the last part so he is director of a fish mill company guys he now makes by products from fishes i mean fish oils then fish meals etc etc so now he has three businesses and just imagine guys he has so much money but does he spend that money yes he does but not on lavish life or else sports cars or something like that he invests his earning he uses his money to earn money that's how he become a millionaire guys all right guys so that's the story of mr sham sir so now that you have heard the story it's time to head to his house so see you in a bit So guys, we have finally reached our destination. That is home of Mr. Sham Chandrakant Saran. And as you guys can see, Sham Saran is also celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi. And guys, just imagine being such a busy person. He gives time for such things and celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi. And guys, just have a look at this idol of Lord Ganesha. This idol is so so beautiful, guys. just look at the richness of the idol guys seriously it's so beautiful by the time my family is paying a visit to lord ganesha let me just get out of here 
and show you the beautiful exterior of this amazing house. Guys, I'm really very very sorry that it is so dark out here. I mean what happened is when we reached here it was already too late and the sun had already set. That's the reason it's so dark out here. I wish you guys could have seen this house at the daytime in the daylight. Yet you can at least see the basic structure and the aesthetic of this house. And believe me guys, this house is really really beautiful. This house used to be a normal house as you see in the rural areas and today it's a two stories bungalow. All thanks to Mr. Sham Saram. And the best thing is he actually drew a plan for this house by himself. And the best thing is what I like the most is that he didn't even ask for a single penny of loan in order to build this house. Now that's what I like about him. As you can see, this house is called Anusaya Nivas and is named after the late mother of Mr. Sham Saram. So guys, this is how the ground floor looks like. You see that door over there? It is made completely out of teak wood. You know what guys, Mr. Sham Sarang called carpenters from Karnataka in order to make doors out of teak wood for the ground as well as the top floor. Ha! Ah, now that we have seen the exterior of this house as well as the ground floor, it's time to head up and see the top floor. Now let's see what we have on the top floor. Great, here we are. This over here is the beautiful ceiling of the balcony and there is also a swing in the middle of the balcony. Damn, this is so beautiful. Now let's enter the room. Damn, just look at the ceiling of this room guys. It is so, so awesome. Mr. Sarang also tells me that he had his design inputs in the interior of this room too. Damn, it's so awesome. The color scheme as well as the contrast of the colors of this room is really, really amazing. I mean guys, this room is so elegant. These curtains as well as this furniture adds up to the elegance of the room very very much. So guys now that we have seen the house of Mr. Saran it's time to head out. So guys we are finally back home after a long long day and believe me guys today's day was really awesome. So guys I remember that in the beginning of this video I actually promised you guys that I will reveal a secret about how me and my family knows Mr. Sham Saran so well. And the truth is Mr. Sham Sarang is actually my uncle. Yes guys, he is the cousin brother of my mom and I have known him since childhood. And believe me guys, he has inspired me a lot. He have taught me that if you have the courage to dream big, then you should also have the courage to pursue your dreams through hard work and make those dreams come true. And really guys, I hope that I can actually become like him and make him proud. So guys, that's where I wrap up my vlog. I hope you liked the video. If you have liked the video, please do like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are not subscribed, just click on the button over here. And don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you can get notified each and every time I upload a new video. So guys, that's all for today. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, this is Keso signing off. See ya.